This team affinity grind, I swear to you, I think it took years off my life. I don't know why this felt so difficult this year, but my God, it took forever. I spent almost an entire day's worth of time grinding out just this program alone, but it's finally done, which means we've got a ton of stuff we get to rip open in this video here today. We got packs on packs on packs, but first I'm gonna tell y'all what I did order to get through this team affinity program as quick as I possibly could, even though it still felt like it took forever. We tried to slow grind a little bit, that got annoying. I just wanted to be done with it. We're finally done with it. All right, so obviously first things first, go with a team affinity, knock out the moments for each, div each division. It doesn't take a ton of time to do. Some of them can be more annoying than others. The home run missions, I absolutely hate doing, mainly because it takes me about 14 tries per home run. But again, only five of those per division. So if you're better at hitting than I am, then you should be able to knock it out pretty quickly. The showdown took no time at all. We breezed through those like first day of the game um, or first day that the team affinity playlist was available. It might've been first day of the game. Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, the conquest, do those as well. That's where you're going to get a little double dip action there. We talked about it a little bit previously. When you're doing conquest, when you're doing anything offline, use the players that you need for the missions. You've got captain players that are gonna have missions here. Most of them are, for the pitchers, it's gonna be any pitched or 12 Ks. For hitters, for judge with three home runs, some of them are like five extra base hits, some are 10 hits total. So it's not it's not horrible, throw them in there, get them in. Uh, henchman missions, same thing. A lot of it, I think this is all PXP based. Yeah, so the pitchers, unfortunately, are 600 PXP. So it takes about I don't know what, three or four games with each pitcher to do it if you're doing the three inning modes. Uh, hitters, pretty quick, you can get those done about three games as well, but you're only seeing them, what, you know, two or three times a game at most. So it's not a horrible grind on the hitters. Pitchers, it takes a little bit longer. And unfortunately, in Team Affinity, it feels like you have more pitcher missions than you do anything else. So that's kind of the shitty part about this. But like I said, throw them in there for your conquest grind. You can get it done pretty quick here. And then boom, you're double dipping and getting points that way. Now, unfortunately for me, when it came to doing the Team Affinity grind, we had to rely on many seasons. Now, I don't know if anybody's got a more streamlined process to do this, but it took me going through the Team Affinity mini season twice. We had to get the vouchers twice in order to complete this. And even after doing that, I still had some leftover player missions that I needed to knock out in play now, which was the pitchers. I think I did three play now games after that and got that done. But two mini seasons, like two full mini seasons, that was a grind, I'm not gonna lie. I do, and I enjoy the mini seasons mode. Like it's not something I hate. Even the second one through, I think we ended up playing like 24 of the 28 games plus the playoff situation after that. So it was a bit of a grind, but getting nine vouchers every time you complete, was it nine vouchers? No, it's 10 vouchers. Yeah, cause you get four in the big pack and three in the two small packs. So yeah, you get 10 vouchers total every time you finish that. So that's 20 vouchers. Some of these we only had to use like, so for the AL West, I only used one voucher to finish that off because I had all the missions done for it. We went through and put the rest of them. I think it's like 20,000. Let's see, make sure that total's right before I tell you a lie here. What was it mini season? So five vouchers, yes, 20,000. We did that for the NL Central and the NL East, I'm pretty sure, because I didn't want to go through and do all the player missions. So we put five, I think I put six in one of them. It still wasn't done. When it was all said and done with the mini seasons, I had four of the six divisions done, and the NL Central and the NL uh, East were at 96 and 97%. So I did have to go back into the play versus CPU stuff, do a couple of nine inning games, just to finish off the pitcher missions. I think I did one team build, team build mission in that with the uh, with the reds there. that's the other thing you can do if you've been grinding a lot and you're you know you're making the team build progress here then you're good to go i mean all you gotta do is kind of load your lineup up with certain players just playing the game naturally you're obviously going to build these up so what i did with it when i had when i had leftover points i had to get there i took the reds i was so close to getting them done as you can see we're at 252 uh 2500 now but we were at like 1900 to 2500 at the time i just loaded up all nine positions with reds and then went in there and hammered that out in a play versus CPU game, got that done in one game. So that was an extra 5,000 team affinity points we had right there. So that ended up finally knocking it out. After all that, after about uh, literally about 24 hours worth of play time in this, like I said, this may not have been the most efficient process, but for me, that was what worked at the time. I'm really hoping it's a little more streamlined for team affinity part two, but we're gonna see. So we got this done, we are there. We've got a ton of packs to rip open. I am super excited about this because we are getting closer and closer on collections. We're gonna take a look at that real quick before we dump in here and rip the packs, but we're, we're looking pretty solid so far. 
So we had already had the free agent collection done here in the live series collection. We did go in, if you have not done this yet, now it is Thursday, I'm gonna to try to get this video up as quick as possible. So hopefully y'all see this before it actually happens. Get the Padres collection done. Fernando Tatis is coming back to the lineup this afternoon for the Padres, which means he'll likely be in the game tomorrow. I would assume, I, would assume. I, I don't know why they'd hold him out any longer than that. That collection is gonna be even more expensive than it is now. Go buy the Machado, get it over with if you don't have him already, get that collection done before they put Tatis in the game. But as far as the other collections go in the NL West, the only card we're lacking that's actually really expensive is gonna be the Mookie Betts. Now, unfortunately, he's going for like 150K right now. Could we go in and buy him? Sure, we'll probably do that just to finish off the NL West and be done with that. I don't think I'm gonna do it today. We're gonna to wait till after the roster update, see if some of the investments we made kind of hit. If they do, we'll have an abundance of stubs and be able to go in and do that. Now, I'm not gonna discuss the cards that I'm investing in. I mean, I could tell y'all what I'm investing in, but I'm not gonna do a specific video on what cards to flip and you know invest in and all that for the market. Because for me, this is the first time I'm really doing that, so I'm not really sure if I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with cards that I know or with players that I know and been killing it in real life. I kind of bought in on them as low as I could at the time, but you're at a point right now where the update comes out tomorrow and it's just way past the time to worry about investing in it now. Plus, it's the first update. Let's see how they do it. It could be weird this year. I'm not really sure, but we invested in about four or five different cards. I got some Bregman. I got some, uh, obviously, I got some Matt Chapman. Uh, who else we get? We went after Seager early. I don't think that one's going to turn any uh, profit for us there. Simeon, same thing. Uh, Joe Ryan of the Twins, maybe possibly. I mean, like I said, there, there's a mix of about six, seven cards in there we kind of got rolled with. But if we do happen to hit on some of those, we're going to go get Mookie and be done with the NL West. We're trying to do the NL first, mainly just the Angels. Like I said, that's kind of the big holdup when it comes to the AL. And until you have at least one of these two from a pack, there's kind of no point in really worrying about the AL right now, just because I'm not going to pay the 300 plus thousand stubs it's going to cost to get Mike Trout. And I know Otani's up there in the fucking 150 range as well. So we're just not going to worry about the AL for now. Let's finish up the NL, get the Sammy Sosa. We'll be content with that. But like I said, we've got a ton of packs to rip through today. Now, keep in mind, the majority of these, and I mean like 98% of these packs have come from doing the Team Affinity grind. Like I said, the Team Affinity grind was a bitch. I did not enjoy it. But the rewards you get out of doing all the mini seasons and everything that comes with it, grinding through the Team Affinity program, you get a ton of packs at the end of the day. So that's what we're sitting on here. And we're going to bust these open and see if we can get some, some big hitters. We need something to go our way today. We also had the Flawless Program reward that we got from the last program in BR. So we're going to pop that one today. We got another Around the World 2 pack here. This one has a chance to get the Kyle Tucker again. Obviously, we wouldn't go that route here. Probably go Manny if we end up hitting that. Although I don't know if we're going to use them because once we get Chipper, which we're really close to getting the Chipper, I think I need like five more set one cards to get that one done. We're not going to have a spot at third base because Murakami is going to be at first, Chipper is going to be at third, and that's just going to be kind of locked down. So whatever we get out of this, if it's a higher end one, we're obviously going to sell it. If it's lower end one, we might just lock it in because they're, I mean, what are they going for? Probably not much. 17K on this Brandon Layton. I don't think it's going to be much on any product right on the same 17 too. Yeah, so we're not going to get a whole lot out of these 97s. But if we end up pulling one of these 99s, you're looking at 65K plus. So not a bad little turnaround right there. So let's hit the silver pack. See if we get any love. Probably not. No, it's going to be silver. It's going to be Kim there. Okay, all-star pack here. We just got this one for winning that last ranked seasons game. Nothing in there. We got a gold Vladdy though, although he's probably going to go up to diamond. So that's not a bad little gold pool. All right, the BR Flawless Program Reward. What do we got here? We're going to take, I think I said I was going to take Bob Feller. Now, I'm going to be all the way honest. Looking at the Greg Vaughn card a little more, this is nasty. I don't know anything about Greg Vaughn's swing. It may suck. I have not touched this card once. I have not gotten him a BR or anything like that. So I don't know how this card is going to play. I don't even know if I really want to go with it. But the diamond defense, I love having diamond defense in the outfield. Speed leaves a little bit to be desired there. But I honestly think we're still going to go with Bob Feller. That pitch mix is pretty nasty. He's got a ton of velo differential in there you look at the 99 four seam and 79 on the 12 six his windups annoying which is probably why we're going to take him so let's do it bob fellow let's go then we're not going to lock him in either because for 67,000, we might just end up selling the guy i have no idea if he sucks that bad we're just going to get rid of him all right show packs baby 125 of these bad boys let's see if we can actually get something rolling here today i am going to be super greedy in this video because i really need some love like I said, we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit here early in the season with the Mets, and we're going to get a diamond on the third pack. Let's go. This is the type of love we need today. It's purple. It's not terrific, but we're, we're taking anything. Let's go. What do we got? 
Who do we got? Of course, it's a Philly. Why wouldn't it be? It is going to be Zach Wheeler again. All right. No surprise. Like it's like our fourth Zach Wheeler pool there. Okay, whatever. We got a diamond earlier. That's a good time. Kind of breeze through this. But I do got to say, like, the one thing about finishing the Team Affinity grind as fast as, or not as fast as we did, but getting it done now with, I think, 20 something days left in the set one season, we're finally going to be able to sit down and really start grinding out some ranked gameplay. So that's going to be something I do on my next set of days off this weekend. We're going to be grinding the hell out of some ranked. I want to get that done. We may even stream. We, we have not streamed once a season, mainly because I'm not a huge fan of streaming, just because it takes a lot of time out of my day, and I've got kids and a wife, and streaming is just difficult. But it may be something we look to do. Okay, we've got a diamond over here. It's, that's actually kind of a dope-looking banner. CJ Crone here in the player spot. What do we got going? Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. I need more diamonds. We got one early. Like I said, we're super greedy today. I do not even care. I need, I need to be blessed. I need the goods rolling our way. But if we do decide to stream, it's going to be over on Twitch. It's going to be games with Mike on Twitch. Same way it's spelled here on the YouTubes. Same thing over there. We have streamed MLB in years prior, but we have not streamed yet this year. So we may be looking to do that, especially for the ring grind, because I just don't want to grind it myself off camera. That's boring. I'm going to be super sad if we get through all this and only get the one diamond. And if it's Zach Wheeler, that hurts. That hurts bad. We need... We need the love. Come on. I, I need I need one blue today. I need one big hitter. It'd be great if it was Mookie, but I would honestly take any blue card. You know what would be fantastic? A Michael freaking Trout. That would be fantastic. There's a lot of golds out of the way, though. We'll take that. I do not mind getting the golds out of the way. Less cards we've got to go buy. If anything, out of the 18 balling packs we got, we better be pulling something decent out of there. Listen, the ballings have been... When I say they cooled off this year, man... We started out super hot on them, and it has been absolute trash ever since that first pack opening. So we need the balls to hit today, at least at least one or two. Out of 18 balling packs, you think you get at least at least two diamonds. But speaking of diamonds, baby, let's go. What do we got here? It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. Come on. Oh, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh my God, we got Mookie. Let's go, baby. That just saved us 150 plus K in the stub department. Let's go. Mookie freaking bets. That is absolutely massive. Oh my God. All right, we, we have been blessed today. I'm not going to be greedy anymore. That is huge. I'm not going to lie. I thought about lost my voice right there. Jesus Christ. All right, Mookie freaking bets. Let's get it. The one card we needed for the NL West. So we're definitely gonna be able to get that done today. I do not like the fact that my controller vibration is still picking up on this microphone. That's driving me absolutely insane. I can see it like peeking in the background. It's pissing me off. At this point, like I said, <clears throat> for me right now, anything, any any diamond's a good diamond anymore. I, I don't care. That, that, that was such an unexpected heater today. I can't even be mad. What would be dope is to pull a second one though. We could pull a second Mookie and sell that one too. That'd be fantastic. Now I don't know where to go with it. Like I'm trying to figure out. So now that we've got the NOS pretty much done, I need to go through. I know the Cardinals are gonna be difficult too. Oh my God, let's go. Here we go. Can we get another blue? Can we get another blue game? Bless me. Show me the goods. Uh, it's purple. It's purple. Be one we ain't got. That's all I'm asking for. Just be one we ain't got. We're good to go. Is that Dylan Cease? That's Dylan Cease. Okay. I think we already have him. I'm pretty sure we already have him. But if not, that's good. But yeah, we were talking about the Cardinals, and that's something we need to go through. I think if I'm, I'm I can't remember, but I think Goldie and Arenado both are stupid expensive as well. They got to be up in that 120 to 150 range too. I know they're both. I'm pretty sure they're both 90 plus, if I'm not mistaken. So if that's the case, then maybe the NL is not going to be as easy to get done as we thought. Okay. Okay. Fourth diamond. Come on. Purple again. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, we're not going to get greedy after the Mookie pool. But what do we got here? There's a Brave. Is that Harris? I think it's Harris. That is Michael Harris. Okay, we know for a fact we've already got him. So not a great pool. But hey, it's a diamond, so we're not upset. We just love seeing that blue, baby. That's what it's all about. Let's see the blue. And then we know the Mets collection is going to be expensive, mainly because we were stupid enough to go sell. Now, one thing I am curious about when it comes to the Mets collection, I've heard a lot of people talk about this on Twitter. Nobody knows the answer for sure on whether they're going to actually take um, Edwin Diaz out of the 
Matt's collection because he's hurt for the year. That would be great because that means we don't have to go in and buy him considering we've already sold him. So if we just have to buy Verlander and Scherzer, then it is what it is. I mean, we did already sell one Scherzer, which was probably stupid on my part, but hey, we needed the stubs at the time, so we did it. I don't know, one thing we're gonna have to do today, if not today, or sometime this weekend, I've gotta go through here and clean the binder out. It is, especially after this pack opening, it's gonna be a whole bunch of junk in there that we need to put on the market and should easily be sitting around 320, 330,000 stuff. I haven't even looked at like jerseys and stuff like that that we know we've double dipped on. So like I said, we got a ton of stuff we need to put on this market and build this uh, stub count back up. We only spent about 70 or 80K worth of stubs in investing. And we've already kind of built back up to where I was before I started that. So I'm not really upset about investing. Like I said, hopefully, I know, we know we're gonna have the Chapman hit. That's, he's likely, if Chapman doesn't go diamond, I'm gonna be super, super shocked because he has just been absolutely tearing the cover off the ball. And then after the, uh, the Astro series where he absolutely, dicked us in the first two games. I, I think it's almost a guarantee that he's gonna go to diamond. But we didn't invest a whole lot in him. I think we got like 25, 26 Matt Chapman. So we didn't get a ton, but we tried to get in on why he was still pretty low. I was on, I, I think I got on him about a week and a half ago. But he's the only one that I've invested in that I'm almost like sure is gonna go diamond. Backed all the way out, okay. Got a little excited there. 23 more packs to go here. Can we hit one more diamond in the show packs where it's all said and done? We've got four so far, no complaints today. As long as I'm still seeing stuff that's new, it's a good sign as well. I just don't wanna keep having to buy low tier players. I would love to be able to fill them all up with these packs and then be done with that. Like I said, we did go in and buy some Giants players and stuff like that just to kind of get us a little closer, which I might end up regretting that, regretting that after this pack opening. But at least I know we're going to be done with one division in full. Finally, we've got, we've really been slow playing the collections. We were really focused on getting that set one where we wanted it to be. Now we really got to put the focus in on the live series. Diamond in that spot. What do we got here? Does not matter. 13 to go, 12 to go. Give me one more diamond. I don't care. I said we were going to be greedy today. Fuck it. We're going to be greedy. Give me one more, one more diamond. Doesn't have to be a big diamond. I just want to see blue one more time before we get to the ball. Cause we better get one of the balls. If we don't, <sighs> I'm, my disdain for the ball and his gold packs are becoming at an all time high again. There we go. Okay. We got one here. This is probably gonna be the last one. We're going to get out of the show packs. Can we pull heat again? Oh my God. We're going to pull heat again, guys. We got our second blue of the day. We got our second blue of the day. That, that works. That absolutely works. Okay, that is great. God, I, why did we sell Scherzer and Diaz? We'd have been done with the Mets now. Damn it. Okay, we will take that. Verlander is here. 79,000. Okay, I can't, I can't even, I, you know what? We're, we're good. Whatever else happens today, we're good. I don't even care. We ain't even gonna see another diamond today. We pulled two absolute fat, fat diamonds. We are beyond stoked right now. Final show pack here before we get off into the ball ins. No diamond there. That is fine. We got Verlander and Mookie Betts today. Guys, that goes a long ways into the NL side of the collections. That's absolutely massive. 18 ball in packs. We still got four diamond duos, and then we're going to finish it off with the around the world pack over here. See if we can hit the rare round on that one. Ball ins. Let's go. Be good to us today. Not starting out great. You know, I said you should expect two. I just, just, I just really want one diamond in a ball impact. Like, we got it early. Can we get one today? That supercharged bow kind of threw me off a little bit there. Come on, baby. Nope. Just, it's a lot of golds. It's a lot of golds. Double gold pack here, Bregman and Kenley Jansen. Come on. Come another double gold pack here. Kind of heating up a little bit. The double golds are should be a good sign. You would think it's a good sign. It is a good sign. We got a diamond and a ball in, baby. We are back. Let's go. It's purple. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We're not stressing this at all. Just don't be a Philly. I'm tired of seeing the Phillies. Give me somebody else we ain't got. Give me somebody we ain't got. Astro. Okay, Altuve. We needed him. We did not have Jose Altuve. That is good. I'm pretty sure he was the only... The only diamond... We might not have Kyle Tucker. 
I think he was the last. I think Kyle Tucker might be the last diamond we need for the Astros. And that one will be done. All right. So Altuve is here. Let's go. We got our diamond in the ball and pack. Gold's all over the place, though. We're fine. We got our one diamond in the ball and pack. That's that's all we needed. Any, if we get another one, that's just going to be the, the, the cherry on top. We got another one. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's go. Come on, baby. Ballins are good to us. Ballins are good to us. It's another purple. It's another purple. But ballins are good. We'll take this. Give me one more we don't have. I don't know who else we don't have. Let's see. What do we got here? We did not have J-Ram either. Okay, so that's another good get. Another diamond we did not have in the AL. That's massive. Okay. J-Ram, let's go, baby. We are pulling some really, really solid diamonds today. Is that other than the Zach Wheeler that we got early? I think, what, we pulled one more that we had already had, so. Other than that, we're feeling really, really good after this pack opening. All right, so Freddie Peralta here. Five more ballings to go. Can we get lucky for a third time? I think three is asking for way too much out of balling packs, but we'll take the two that we got, especially because there's two we didn't have. And that's absolutely massive. Now that we can get a hit on the Diamond Duos pack, would be fantastic. Final balling pack here. Can we get lucky? Three, two, one. We cannot. Okay, it is Wilson Contreras again. So four Diamond Duos and then the Around the World pack. So it's the Diamond Duo pack two. This is the Jim Edmonds, Fergie Jenkins, and the absolutely generic Cubs uniforms here. All right, let's, pack, let's, let's see what we got. Can we hit? Can we hit? We cannot hit here. Okay. Diamond Duos Pack 4. This is Brooks Robinson, Dontrell Willis, who I would like to add, in all honesty. And then the Baltimore Orioles St. Louis Browns uniform. Okay, just give me the... Uh, I really want Don. I would love Dontrell. We might end up actually having to buy him at some point. Not going to get him here. Okay. George Springer, hello. Pack five, David Justice and Walter Johnson. Neither card I really have any interest in, nor this Twins uniform. So whatever happens here, I guess happens. We are not going to get a diamond there. It's fine. And the pack six, Joe Morgan and Josh Hader. God, that Josh Hader card would be lovely. Oh, I like them Seattle uniforms, though. That's kind of sexy. All right. That Josh Hader card would be fantastic. Can we get that? Can we get that? We're not going to get that. Okay, so Diamond Duos were not kind to us. No surprise. Diamond Duos usually always suck for me. Around the World Pack 2, we talked about it here. We need the rare round. Can we get lucky on this? We've only had one of these packs. We hit the rare round on the one time we did have it. Can we do it again? Three, two, one. Let's go. God, that, wrote, that vibrated the shit out of my desk. All right. Base round it is. It is what... Who we taking in this? Does it really matter? Do we, do we take Gary? We know he's got a ton of pot. Do we, I mean, we still don't have a catcher. Do we take Gary? We're we're trying to grind BR for the Posada. It's gonna take me a little minute because th I'm running an absolute goons in BR right now. We're just gonna take Gary and just say the hell with. Do we take Castillo? What's he looking like? Slider, sinker, fastball? Nah. Trace Thompson. His juice card was kind of fun to play with. I'm not gonna lie. He's got the diamond defense. We're not gonna play him in the outfield though. We just don't have any spots. Gary Sanchez, let's go. But man, Mookie bets. The absolute fire hit of the day. I'm going to go through and get the rest of the cards that I need to finish out the NL West. And then we are done with this division. We'll have the 94 Duke Snyder. Probably throw him in for a ranked seasons game. I'm pretty sure he's a center fielder. So we might throw him in over Jazz and see how he does. I always like Duke Snyder cards in the past. He's only a 94. So maybe not terrific. But we're going to see. We'll try him out. See how it is. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'll see y'all later.